there might be a solution to the giant garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean. A Dutch group aiming to rid the oceans of plastic junk has announced it will begin efforts to clean up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch by 2018, two years earlier than originally intended. The organization Ocean Cleanup will use trash collectors in the form of curved booms and screens, which are suspended by anchors floating in deep water. The system will act like an artificial coastline, catching plastic debris as it drifts on the surface or just below the water. Once full, a vessel empties the system and transports the collected plastic to land for processing and recycling. The group plans to deploy up to 50 systems and expects to collect 50% of the trash in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in just five years. Ocean Cleanup's first pilot parts are now in production and will begin testing off the west coast of the U.S. by year's end. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here's what's currently being done about the plastic menace in our oceans. Seabin device designed to keep the ocean clean. Australian surfers Andrew Turton and Pete Kaglinski, who are also best friends, decided to do something after they became frustrated with the amount of trash that was floating in the ocean waters that they spent much of their childhood playing in. The duo quit their jobs and invented the sea bin, which is what they hope will be a sustainable way to reduce the amount of garbage that is polluting the world's waters. Built from recycled materials, the sea bin is fixed to a dock with a water pump that runs on shore power. The pump brings water through the sea bin, which allows the natural fiber bag inside the device to catch the floating rubbish and debris before water is pumped back out. Users have the option of installing an oil and water separator to the pump to clean the water that flows through it before the water is allowed to flow back into the ocean. The sea bin is lined with a natural fiber catch bag that collects floating debris. When the bag is full, it can be changed with another clean one and the collected debris can be disposed of responsibly. Turton and Kaglinski are trying to raise enough capital to turn the Seabin prototype into a reality. According to Australia's ABC News, crowdfunding has helped the two men raise 50,000 US dollars for commercial production, and a video of the Seabin in action has attracted more than 10 million hits online. Caterpillars could save the planet from plastic trash. After years of trying to find a way to get rid of plastic waste, scientists may have finally found a solution, courtesy of a drab little bug. Wax moth caterpillars that typically eat beeswax in hives have been found to also be capable of degrading plastic. Polyethylene is one of the most commonly used plastics, with strong carbon-to-carbon -carbon bonds that render it resistant to degradation. However, wax worms are able to make holes in a polyethylene bag in just 40 minutes, eventually eating through most of it in just a few hours. Researchers suspect bacteria in the guts of the worms are responsible for digesting the plastic and breaking it down into ethylene glycol, an organic compound. Scientists want to study the chemical process that allows polyethylene to be degraded and may be adapted into a solution for managing the world's plastic waste. Indonesia pledges a billion dollars in war on plastic waste. Plastic waste is a major global problem, and second only to China, the world's biggest source of the pollutant is Indonesia. Responsible for a massive 54,000 kilometers of coastline, the Indonesian government has vowed to do its part to reduce plastic in the environment, with a pledge to spend $1 billion on the problem. And it is indeed a global problem, one which the United Nations has declared a war on. Each day, more and more plastic finds its way into our oceans. As plastic does not decompose, much of it collects in the open ocean, driven by currents. One such concentration is known as the Great Pacific Plastic Patch. Another of these floating patches is larger than France. Scientists believe the entire mass of oceanic plastic could outweigh all the fish in the world's oceans in 30 years. And today's estimated 165 million tons of the stuff in our oceans is already getting into our food supply. So you know what to do. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Take a reusable bag to the supermarket, refill that water bottle, and avoid foods with excessive packaging. Do it for those future grandkids, yeah? Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Ocean trash cleaning system to debut off Japanese island next year. 
a self-sustaining system designed to rid the world's oceans of millions of tons of floating plastic garbage, is set to make its debut next year off the coast of Japan. The Ocean Array platform is designed to collect plastic trash that currently floats on or near the water's surface. The one-mile-wide array features two large booms on either side, which use ocean currents to direct the plastic towards a central receptacle. The trash is then filtered into a large trash receptacle on the back of the floating platform for recycling. With solar panels and water-generated turbines below the ocean's surface, the platform is completely self-sustaining. The array will be installed near the Japanese island of Tushishima in 2016 as part of a two-year-long trial. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now!